हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर कमल वर्मा आई एम द डायरेक्टर ऑफ न्यूरो सर्जरी एंड मिनिमली इन्वेजिव स्पाइन सर्जरी एट एशियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मेडिकल साइंसेज फरीदाबाद एशियन हॉस्पिटल फरीदाबाद इज ए मल्टी स्पेशलिटी फोर हंड्रेड बेडेड हॉस्पिटल लोकेटेड अराउंड फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी मिनट्स फ्रॉम द इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट इन अ प्लेस कॉल्ड फरीदाबाद जस्ट नेक्स्ट टू न्यू डेली एन सी आर दिस इज अ टर्सरी केयर हॉस्पिटल विच केटर्स टू इंटरनेशनल पेशेंट्स एज वेल एज डोमेस्टिक पेशेंट्स फॉर ऑल ऑफ देयर टर्सरी प्रॉब्लम्स लाइक कार्डियक प्रॉब्लम्स न्यूरोसर्जिकल प्रॉब्लम्स न्यूरोलॉजिकल प्रॉब्लम्स गैस्ट्रोन्ट्रोलॉजी ऑनको सर्जरी वी आर अ बिग रीजनल कैंसर सेंटर एज वेल सो इन माई डिपार्टमेंट आई जस्ट स्पीक अ फ्यू वर्ड्स अबाउट समथिंग कॉल्ड एज मिनिमली इन्वेजिव स्पाइन सर्जरी Now, what is minimally invasive spine surgery? This is a word which is in very fashion uh, these days. All the patients wants minimally invasive spine surgery, endoscopic spine surgeries, or laser spine surgeries, as they say. This is nothing but doing the same procedures which we used to do earlier by a minimally invasive approach. That is, if I was doing a surgery by open approach, uh, now I can be able to do that same surgery by a very small cut or by a very very minimal uh, small puncture on the skin. this has been made useful by certain gadgets which are called as endoscopes now first i had to open the back to see the patient now in minimally invasive spine surgery i introduce an endoscope in which there is a camera attached so actually my eyes go inside the patient through a small hole so i can see whatever i could see before by the big incision now by a small puncture so i can do the same amount of work through a minimal invasive approach so does that mean doing a spinal surgery no it is not a smaller surgery it is the same surgery but by a smaller approach a smaller route so what is the benefit of doing this the benefit is this when we take a smaller approach we cut small amount of tissue we cut small amount of muscle we cut small amount of bone so the post operative pain is very less or minimal next the patient can go back to his work or his routine activity very very early maybe if i operate a patient today by a minimal invasive approach he can uh, join his work maybe after 3 days of surgery he can leave the hospital in the next day morning there is less blood loss there is less time required for the surgery so the anesthesia time is less so in overall this is a benefit of both the patient and the hospital that with less blood loss less post operative pain early mobilization early joining to his work and activities so this is the benefit of minimal invasive spine surgery now i want to emphasize one more thing all the spine surgeries can be done by minimally invasive approach this is a wrong fact so it depends upon the disease it depends upon the patient it depends upon the findings on his scans there are many diseases which can be treated by minimally invasive spine surgery but still there are many diseases which have to be done by an open surgery so it has to be decided by the treating doctor by the team when we do the minimally invasive surgery we first see the scan we talk to the patient about the risk about the benefit and then we do it apart from mis mis is a short form for minimal invasive spine surgery we as a department of neurosurgery have the latest intraoperative neuro navigation from metronics which helps us uh, in intraoperative guidance both in the brain and in the spine we also are, are equipped with high end microscope qsa machine uh, both pneumatic as well as electric drills and everything which is required for a major tertiary care neurosurgical setup we are doing lot of skull based surgeries vascular surgeries surgeries for brain tumors and any other type of brain and spine surgery are being uh, catered here we are a big team of a couple of neurosurgeons with our neurologist physiotherapist icu team we form a core group uh, to take care of the patient in a holistic fashion uh, thank you so much